Ah, day 24, Christmas Eve, and the finale of another Advent calendar season. Here on the Adlington Channel, everybody has gathered around the Christmas trees, among the ruins of everything else, and the chaos that has come before. We've had Avengers Towers, we've had Platform 9 and 3 quarters, we've had barbecues, we've had robots, we've had presents, and we've had twin jets and heli carriers and brick walls and and fireplaces and random ass signs and other signs for pubs and stuff. It's been fun. It's been fun. Avengers took the lead and ran with it while Harry Potter floundered for a few days in the middle. Um, but Harry Potter has been putting up a fighting effort in the in the last few throws here. But day 24, we're going to start with the Avengers. I want to say it's going to be another character. Every year I hope for a character with just Santa, turned into Santa. We haven't had Captain America. Um, of the big three, we haven't had Captain America. So Captain America could easily show up. Uh, we haven't had Hawkeye, but I don't I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, we haven't had Vision. We haven't had Wonder. We haven't had... Um, I mean, we haven't had a lot. We haven't had Black Panther. We haven't had... We haven't had a lot. Um... I want to hope for a Captain America Christmas man, Christmas man, Santa Claus, um, but I'm also probably going to be a bit disappointed because Captain America is, to me, the most disappointing of the heroes. I've never really, never really enjoyed Captain America. He's fine. I was always more behind Iron Man because he has cool robot suits and stuff. Um, yeah, that's my guess, is it's going to be... It's going to be Captain America, and it's going to be disappointingly not Christmas-themed. That's my guess. Although, if they print something on the shield, they could have a lot of fun with it. Uh, oh! Okay. Alright, I was wrong. Um... I mean, I'm still kind of disappointed. <laughs> um, this is not a thing that I have, but I assume it's in a set somewhere. This is not, this can't be unique to this. No way is this unique to this. This has to be in a set. Um, but it is exceptionally disappointingly not Christmas themed. Um, like, beyond measure. In fact... It, it's not even compatible with anything else we've already got in, this, in the set. It just kind of is. Like, it has a little stud connection here that literally nobody can use. Um, and then there's all these unique elements to it that have no other purpose. And come in, like, sprues of four for no explainable reason. Like, why does anybody need four of these? Why are you printing them in sprues of four and not splitting them in the factory? Like, Jesus. Why are you giving everybody so friggin' many of the Infinity Stones? Like, calm down there, Lego. Um, there's some kind of order to this, but I don't care. I don't care. These are very fiddly to put in. They're painful to take off the sprue. They're very, very small. They are not compatible with any other kind of Lego. They're not holdable by a minifig. That peg is not the right size for that. Uh, I, I generally don't know if I can get these in with my arthritis. Um, we'll, we'll see what happens, I suppose. Um, and it is distinctly not Christmas-themed. Like, the only minifigure that was, like, definitely Christmas-themed was Tony Stark, Iron Man, um, Thor at a push... Uh, and that's it for christmas theme minifigures. I mean, I wasn't expecting christmas theming in the Harry Potter, uh, because it just kind of is its own thing. But, like, if you open with a 
Christmas themed Iron Man, like fuck, where's everybody else's ugly Christmas sweaters? Like this is a unique print. This has to be a unique print for this set. Where is everybody else's unique prints? I mean, I guess it's going to be prohibitively expensive if they were to do that. Um, but like legit, you've opened with uh, with a Christmas party Tony Stark. Like, why is this not the Avengers Christmas party? You know what I'm saying? Why is this kind of, like, Jesus Christ, these are such a pain in the ass, take it off. Why is this so incredibly not Christmas themed? Like this entire Avengers calendar, I can't bother to do these, it's such a pain in the ass to get all the sprue. Um, it's the Infinity Gauntlet, this meant to have a whole bunch of gems, just imagine it does. Uh, Harry Potter's gonna win it, cause that's, it's, that's very disappointing. It like, have it on a stand? Anything. Anything. There's no stand, there's no compatibility with anything we've previously got. It's not compatible with a th single Lego thing that I own. Like, Thanos can't hold it. It's way too big. Uh, I assume it's compatible with the, the mega scale Thanos, like the big bulky dude. But we didn't get that. Super big letdown in the clothes, Avengers. Super big. Um, yeah, this is exactly what we expected. It's the spinner, um, which acts as like a move thing. Uh, this game is basically a roll and move game. Um, it's basically a roll and move game with literally nothing on it. <laughs> Unless there's some rules on the back of here, which I don't think there are. This is essentially a roll and move game with nothing. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's the only thing that's on the board that could affect the thing is the wall. That's it. There's no other effects, there's no like there's no snakes, no ladders, there's no random spaces, there's no branching paths, there's no like stop here to pick up your ticket for nine and three quarters. There's nothing. There is zero things to make it uh to make it themed or to make it even remotely interesting for a, a, a roll and move game. Um, but we get, at the end of the day, this quite adorable, quite lovely, quite charming, quite um, attractive, quite pretty, quite cute, quite cool, quite pain in the ass to build, Spinner. Which, frankly, I think is adorable. I quite love it. Um, I don't really have any kind of use for it. But I think it's exceptionally cute. I dig it. I dig it, dig it, dig it. I don't know how to build it. But, <laughs> but I dig it. That's a weird piece. I've never seen that piece before. It's like a two-tile-high brick thing with the edges. It's ribbed. Someone's pleasure. Um, and then this guy slots into the bottom of it. Okay, and then I'm assuming this goes on the bottom of that to make the full spinner -inny. Yeah, okay. Um, and then we get brown on all these edges. Like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. And then colors. Match the colors, yellow, green, blue over here, red over there. It is an adorable little dice spinning top thing, which they very easily, and possibly should have, gone with the actual board game dice that they used to make five or so years ago. Uh, but this, as top heavy as it is and doesn't really spin on its end, is freaking cute. And I guess you take the one it lands on. That's minus one space. It's adorable. That uh, that really is. I, I quite like that. This is a disappointment. An absolute letdown. Like, why? Why would you include something that just doesn't compute with the rest of the set at all when you've already given the uh, 
minifig scale Infinity Gauntlet, wherever the fuck that is, which does fit with the rest of the set. Why? Why is that a thing? Merry Christmas, goddammit. I hope you have a good one. I hope it's fun for you. Whatever you celebrate. Guys, thank you for another wonderful year. Supporting the Edlington channel. Um, subscribers, you made this possible. Us having two bouts of disappointment. Uh, which kind of weaved and alternated um, quite nicely. There was a couple of really great days where both things were good. And when this one was bad, this kind of picked up. And then when this one tanked at the end, this one picked up and saved the day. It was fun. Really, really enjoyable. Um, yeah. Guys, you are wonderful people. Subscribers, uh, patrons, cheerers, just people who like and comment. Uh, you are, you are my Christmas gift, and I thank you very much for it. Um, we will be back over the next little while and into the new year with lots more stuff, um, lots of great things happening on the channel, um, and yeah, I hope you can be a part of it. Have a good one. I'll see you in whatever videos we do next. Bye-bye.